Accountants events. Welcome back to the Remote Accountants channel. And today is Friday, and I wanted to kind of have a fun Friday day where we do talk about accounting, but it's a little bit about um, different aspects of managing with the emotions of accounting, particularly stress. Uh, so today I wanted to kind of talk about how to manage with stress uh, techniques you can use, uh, techniques that I've used. Uh, as everyone knows on this channel, uh, I've been an accountant for years, uh, for decades. And uh, I've had my, my share of stress with certain clients, uh, certain businesses, um, and, and then have learned different ways to manage with that. I took a course recently on stress management, and that was quite interesting and, uh, and, and insightful, and I want to share some of those tips with you today. It'll just be a few of them today. Uh, it'll probably be a shorter video, uh, but I hope that it helps you out. I know that you probably have a client or two, maybe several, uh, that you're managing with, or perhaps you're working at a job where it's kind of stressful for you. So these techniques should help you out. It's helped me along the way. Uh, the first one is to kind of pause from the work if you're getting any stressed out, if you have a lot on your plate, um, especially if, if in a course of a day, if something just completely run off, went off the rails, uh, you could just take a deep breath. Um, you know, just pause, take a deep breath, take a, you know, a two, three to five minute break um, you know, just just to kind of collect your thoughts again and then continue the work rather than trying to plow through it. That really does help out. It helps give you perspective and gets you, gets you recalibrated to do the job at hand. Um, sometimes it can get particularly stressful where even that doesn't work. And in that case, just take a little walk, you know. Just pause from the work, allocate 10 minutes or 15 minutes and take a walk around. Uh, that's something that I do almost every day now. Uh, it's been helping me out just to, and it's great for exercise, but it's just great to get your mind away from the computer, away from accounting, away from the clients, and just kind of walk around and, and, and enjoy yourself. Um, you can kind of see the view behind me, um, and I'll post some pictures, some videos here of the marina. Um, I actually work on a boat uh, for remote accounting, and so this is where I work off of, and so um, at some point I might have videos and talking about that, but in any case, it's a nice walk around the marina for me, so it kind of gets me out, but no matter where you live, like I used to live, uh, in a house that was down the valley here of Los Angeles. And I used to walk around the neighborhood over there, and I, I loved that tremendously. And in fact, I still try to walk around uh, neighborhoods all around LA to try to get my mind off of accounting, get my mind off the client, or maybe even just think about like how best to handle that. And so it's another great stress relief. Some days are really bad. <laughs> I've been there. Um, I had a client one time, and uh, the, the client basically told me, that they wanted this budget to be a certain way. And I'd worked on it for a long time, like weeks. And at the end of which, that client told me, like, you know, what is it that I had done that they, they didn't want it this way, they wanted it a different way. And I had notes to, to, to show that no, that's not the, what they told me. It was something entirely different. Anyway, I was completely upset and, and, and stressed and, and uh, you know, just not a, not a happy camper at that time. And I had this uh, colleague, and she said, you know, Vince, let's uh, go uh, get a, get a uh, uh, it was a coffee, basically, just down the street, and uh, to kind of get away from it. And I didn't want to at that time. I really wanted to kind of just plow into it and just say, you know, stupid client, I'll get this done. But I listened, and I, I took that not only as a walk, but it also was a treat uh, for myself to kind of, you know, get my mind off of that. And what's interesting is that I never forget that. That happened a long time ago. It was like over 10 years ago. But I never forget that because it got my mind recalibrated in, in such a way that was better. Like it wasn't just the, it was a little bit of a walk. So that was going on. So it's like the first step I just told, uh, second step I told you guys about. But it was also about the, the act of getting something that, you know, with my taste buds and something in my stomach, that it, it really just helped, uh, helped me deal with that moment. Um, and so I was able to go back to work and give that, client's budget the way that that client needed it and got the work done. It took a little while. I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I don't think I got it all done in that day. It took a little bit, but we got it done. And, and so it really did help me out. So again, those tips are breathing, walking, a little treat for yourself. It, it, all, it all depends on the different stresses you may be facing. So I hope you've enjoyed this for this Friday. I'll try to throw a little bit more of the, uh, the boat footage over there to, <laughs> if you need to just watch that to help you relax. And uh, in any case, I hope to have a video here for this weekend for you guys talking about job opportunities and all that. So this video um, won't be about that particularly, but I will post one uh, hopefully in the days ahead here for you guys. If you guys uh, have liked this video, hit the like button. Uh, please hit the subscribe button too. It's down there below. 
And, uh, and yeah, look forward to talking to you guys again and hope this has helped you out. Take care.